Well, you know, when I uh, hear the word sustainability, uh, I relate it a lot to the Spanish word, which is sostener. I really wanted to be able to have people see uh, something solid. And it also has the support from the city. So that gets added, it has added legitimacy. So people will take it a little more seriously and they'll approach the concept of sustainability a little more seriously. The arts are a vibrant and essential element to any kind of community change. A visual language is very easy for everybody to understand. So an obvious, bold, blunt image is gonna hit somebody in the face and make them realize or think. And if we're gonna have this world-class city that's sustainable and clean and healthy for everyone, where people have this opportunity to live their life and not worry about their health, not worry about their food, not worry about their job, not worry about safety. That's, that's all a part of sustainability. There's the grand scheme of things, like with the social justice and uh, equality and the sustainability, because if not everyone's equal, you know, there's always gonna be some type of uh, controversy. We're leaving the world to kids and they should not have to live in a pigsty that we're leaving behind. So I found the artists um, by doing a traditional call for artists. I picked four individuals that I thought could um, A, work well together philosophically and B, work well together um, technically with their skill. I just kind of wanted to be a part of something that was bigger than myself. Like I've been painting like just for me. Um, and I just thought it would be cool to kind of paint with other artists and you know, get different aspects and kind of challenge myself. The large part of this project was that it was a, a painting to be painted live at a sustainability symposium that the city was part hosting. It was interesting because everybody had very different styles and very different ideas, but it meshed pretty well. In the painting, when we had to uh, decide and, and kind of brainstorm, I kind of thought of Mother Earth, but I also thought of the four elements which was wind, and then I said fire, but then I thought, wait a minute, fire goes with solar energy, water, and of course, earth, Mother Earth. It's crazy how it came together, but you know, it was just so much, it was a little overwhelming at first, but you know, that's why you know, it was good to have a team, because we all kind of just figured out how to blend it in. People might not be educated into you know, gardening, but they're like, oh, what is that? Oh, oh it's a garden, oh. I liked it because everyone just contributed a little piece and it all came together to have the final product. Read somewhere the other day I was saying you can't think about it as the environment, you have to think about it as our environment. And if we're going to survive and thrive, our, our environment, our surroundings have to be able to survive and thrive. It's reachable. You know, you know, living in that lifestyle, it's it's reachable. Maybe not everybody can do a hundred percent, but it's the beginning. I want people to look at it and say like it's beautiful, like it's Orlando. Like this is Orlando. You know, that's it's it's done well. It was done well, and it looks like you know people put their heart into it.